Hi, hi there, Aquarius. How are you guys doing? I really hope that this reading finds you well. Welcome to your weekly reading back with me again. And as I from Nero Stereo, for those of you who are new to my channel, hello. And for those of you who have been a long time, welcome back. So I don't normally usually do a weekly reading, but you know, I thought because last month I did not do your monthly. So let's just do weekly for two weeks. And then after that, we'll go back to normal with our bi-weekly, all right? But anyway, as usual, this is going to be a relationship spread, meaning that you could always apply this with anyone in your life. You could be with your boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife, access, crew, shiz, fiance, family members, anyone. I'm basically just going to be picking up your overall energy in general, all right? Um, and don't forget to also check your sun, moon, or Venus sign, because for me personally, I realize that with my readings, I resonate much, much more with my Venus sign. Guess where? Aquarius. <laughs> Probably because I have, you know, Venus at 8,000. I don't really know. But if it doesn't resonate, then it just doesn't resonate, all right? There's so many amazing, talented tarot readers out there for you to just click and watch. Um, and I think I have to say this in the beginning, that I, the way that I do a reading is that I would do for two things. So the first one is that I would read for one person scenario, meaning that if you're dealing with one person, uh, the first portion of the reading is going to be the one that is for you. And if you're dealing with two people, the first portion of the reading is going to be explaining more about the dynamic of the energy that is going on between you and the person that you're more focused on, whereas the last portion of the reading is going to be more of a predictive type of thing. You know what I mean? So that's person A and person B type of stuff. But anyway, that's all the intro. It's so long. <laughs> but let's start the reading. So you guys, your overall energy, you have the nine of pentacles. You have the king of swords in reverse. And you also have the three of swords. So um, I feel like, you know, I know it's getting really, really general. But I feel like in terms of work, in terms of finances, or if you guys are running your own show, running your own business, um, this month or this week is actually going to be a week that you're going to be... Um, picking up the fruit of your labor you know what i mean so you're going to have either a recognition or an acknowledgement but you're getting something in terms of money and i feel like it's it's what have you have been focusing on anyway because in terms of a relationship you're pretty closed off with the queen king of source in reverse in here because the person that you were dealing with was did hurt you and when they hurt you like and you remember it and it's in it was in reverse so it's getting worse like you remember it by a thousand times you know what i mean so whatever they did in the past that hurt you the most like you wrote it down in your book of sins in your mental notebook or it could be like your literal book like your literal diary and then you still remember it and you're like fuck it and king of swords in reverse when it's in reverse yeah I feel like for me, especially in this particular deck of mine, is much more helpful than it is if it's just in, it was in a preposition. Why? Because King of Swords in reverse is anger. You know what I mean? Like, do you know that song "Vengeance on My Mind" by Jeezy? So it's it's kind of like like that. And when you <laughs> and the silly thing about it is that anger or it operates on a higher frequency, hence or therefore. Um, it's much more easier for you to move forward rather than being in a preposition. Like you know, King of Swords, a preposition is just somebody who is spiteful or who is holding grudges. But you guys are in a reverse, so it's anger right there. You know what I mean? Like I feel no pain, vengeance on my mind all night, all day. So you just want to gain money, or you just want to focus much more on your um, pentacles, just because it drives you. So it's beautiful, actually. It worked out beautifully for you. So what's challenging this relationship? You have the nine of ones in reverse, and you also have the wheel of the year. <coughs> so nine of wands in reverse talks about, especially when it's in challenge, it talks about somebody who has problem opening up. So it could be you, it could be them actually, because it's the overall, it's not specific like which side that card belongs to, but the Nine of Wands in Reverse talks about somebody who uh, is not showing their true color, their true face into the world while, because this is done with their emotions and then they're not really showing it. So whoever it is that you're dealing with is just a puppet for them to protect because they feel like they're protecting themselves by pushing forward that puppet and not being so emotionally vulnerable about it. 
it's a form of protection for them and then you also have the wheel of the year here as the overall challenge which talks about um either a situations or the environment or it probably the distance that is not supporting the relationship as of yet so there is a bigger issue than just both of you you know what i mean like probably it's a long distance or one of their siblings doesn't really like you and stuff like that but just like the situation is not helping or they're too busy with work or you're too busy with work that's why you suddenly have like a lot of problems in terms of relationships stuff like that but anyway in the past that person had the knight of chalices and also the high priestess in reverse so you were dealing with a serial, kind of like a charmer, if that makes sense, because Knight of Chalices, especially in this particular deck of mine, it makes effort. See those butterflies? It makes effort of looking good, of, you know what I mean? Like there's like a lot of butterflies. They make effort to impress things. And and actually what's going on deep within them is that they have the high priestess in reverse. So high priestess in reverse, it could talk about somebody who is either exploring their sexuality or it could be somebody who i mean they were going through a period where um they were going through a period where they don't really care about morals they don't really care about stuff or it's a mean of escaping for them because high priestess in reverse i i often see it as also as escapism like when people are stressed out like uh, some some people have a tendency to escape through work some people have uh, a tendency to escape through alcohol or through dating multiple people you know what i mean or being charming and having a flirty banter with everybody in the room just because it's a mean of escapism for them yeah And you were pleased about it because you have the three of cups. So I think like this person approaches you in a way that makes you feel comfortable. The friendship aspect of this relationship is really, really good. And don't get me wrong, because for Aquarius, being friend with your lover is the most important thing. Like I got Venus in Aquarius and I know, I know exactly what I'm talking about. You know what I mean? Like you're, you're not the type of person who likes to be mushy mushy, who likes to be so intense when it comes to love you know the more time you spend in a relationship with somebody the more you guys became best friend with one another and you feel like with this person like they get you you get them you're like partner in crime so you guys are like the best friend but for some reasons you also notice with this person is that this person is not bearing it all meaning that they're still the four of pentacles so it's either you guys um is suspicious that this person is hiding something or you feel like this person is not really opening up their heart chakra is not really becoming emotionally available towards you so although the friendship aspect is good which tick the checklist of um aquarius checklist for a relationship but because of this four of pentacles like you became the four of cups you feel like yeah maybe not i think i need to protect my heart my feelings as well and this is just only a few aquarius out there but i feel like because with this is the high priestess in reverse and this is the four of cups so i also feel that in terms of principles in terms of moral values and i'm not saying that they're immoral but people do have different moral values you know what i mean and you feel like their moral values is not the same as you guys are And this may come to come to a shocker for cross watchers what do you mean by moral values isn't aquarius are the people who had questions about moral values and stuff like that actually no you know i have like a lot of aquarius in my life best friends exes my daughter is an aquarius my brother is an aquarius so i noticed that aquarius as much free-minded you guys are 
you'd always have one particular value. Like I have one person, I have one friend who is extremely religious and then he sticks to that. You know that fixed sign? He sticks to that. So he could be dating like multiple women, but when it comes to marrying somebody, he chooses somebody who has the same moral values as he does. And that same applies with my best friend, same applies with my brother. Like he ended up with somebody who has the same moral values as he does because it is what it is. Like, I don't know, maybe it's a Saturn influence in you guys because in traditional astrology, Aquarius is actually ruled by Saturn, not Uranus. <coughs> So that was the past. Let's see the, the now. Oh. You guys are not so talkative. You usually, you're talkative with me, but maybe because I have not done your reading for a month, <laughs> you're no longer talkative with me. So this person has the hangman and also the knight of pentacles in a way that that feeling is still there. They still have an unwavering feelings for you and an unwavering strong emotional feelings for you. But the thing about this card is that, see, both of these cards are passive cards. So it's not, a, it's a non-forward moving knight. And then you also have the hangman. So yeah. So they're not really active when it comes to declaring their feelings for you and stuff like that. You have the Eight of Cups and because of that you felt, you mourn, you felt like they're distancing their, themselves away from you for some reason. And you have the Ace of Swords in reverse. The thing is that this person feels that you guys are either withholding clarity or you guys are withholding closure or something. And that is why they're becoming really, really passive. Because you have the Ace of Swords. You knew full well, full well what is it that they want. It's either an information, a closure, a clarity, or whatever. But you know full well what this is. And you're not saying it to them. And you feel this way. And you're also not saying this to them. So there is the block of communications right over here. And this happenings that has been happening from the past and also in the present moment is actually leading you, both of you to be honest, to become the hermit card, to look within. So both of you could probably be looking into more into psychology, into astrology, or into spiritual matters, or into tarot readings, into psychic readings, or whatever, but it has the tendencies to look within and try to interpret meanings, you know what I mean? And there's like a lot of reflective type of moment in here too. I think it's much more from them because they have the hangman in revert, uh, they hangman in a proposition. So they're trying to understand there's like a lot of introspections that they're doing in Makatuma Saskara. Princess of Chalices. Five of Swords in reverse. Uh, Knight of Swords, Two of Pentacles, Jeez Aquarius. You're not having it, aren't you? You really are not having it, aren't you? It's very straight cut scenario here if you're dealing with one person or even if you're dealing with two people. <sighs> oh yeah, by the way, in the present moment, but this is but this will only apply to few. So it's very detailed. I feel like you might be dealing with somebody who is also waiting for another person, but they're also saying that they want something to do with you. So it's somebody who has feelings for two people. Yeah. But, um, but, that, but that's only for a few Aquarius out there. And I feel like that is one of the reasons why it made you the three of swords. Like, how could you say that you love me? But at the same time, I know full well that you're also waiting for somebody else or you're trying to understand somebody else. So, and there are people like that, like, believe me. Anyway, in the future, this person is, has this princess of chalices. Like, wait, I need to clarify something.
yeah they're passive even in, even in, in the future but i feel like for some reasons there's going to be a situation where you guys are going to be charging at them because you have the strength card in reverse and you also have the knight of swords this is scary aquarius this is really really scary I feel like you're going to come with them because you feel impatient and there's going to be some impulses that triggers this from uh, you coming to them in a very, very not a swordish type of way. They might trigger it by sending you like, hey, I want peace, like I don't want to argue no more. Or they might be posting some cryptic message on the internet about, I mean, basically they're the princess of chalices. So... They love you in a very Neptunian way, in a very watery way, in a way that they idolize you. But the Princess of Chalices, especially in this particular deck of mine, because it's, it's the youngest suit card in the Water Kingdom. <laughs> what, what is a Water Kingdom? <laughs> but anyway, it's very, very highly idolizing. Oh my God, you're so great, you know. But every single thing that you do, they take it personally. So they are very sensitive as well. And in the future, they want nothing but to make peace with you. Yeah? But I feel like you guys are not having it. So it's either like they literally could come to you and say, look, let's have peace. Let's stop arguing for a sec. Or they could be writing uh, cryptic messages on internet or they could be saying something so it's their friends and their friends say something to you whatever it is you know what i mean but it's just going to anger you in the future because you have straight card and rivers and you also have the nada so you're going to come at them and when you come at them it's not that you want to get over and done with it it's just that you feel the need to consider, you know, just because you come charging at them, it doesn't necessarily mean that you're over them. It, you're still standing between out or in, in or out, but you just cannot help to unleash everything that you've been feeling, every single thing that you've been writing down in that book that I told you earlier, you know. It's in reverse, so it's very, very anger type of drive. I mean, this person does is into you. They have the hype. I mean, they're in a much more better place than they were in the past. In the past, they have that high priestess in reverse, you know. In the now, in the future, they're going to have it all in a preposition and also the magician card. So they're really confident the, with the fact that this relationship might work with you. And then they also have the high priestess. You know, remember when I said they're trying to understand you? I think they're trying to understand the thing, either the moral values or the principles, or they want they no longer want to explore. Their sexuality or whatever but they 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 want to be um kind of like a man up type of stuff in the future but you guys are just frustrated and it was the frustrations that you keep bottling up and i feel like it's going to explode in the future <laughs> all right so that's it if you're dealing with one person and what happens if you're dealing with two people so if you're dealing with two people Okay, so if you're dealing with two people, person A is somebody who is the Knight of Chalices. So, no, 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 let's go with person B first. So, person B is somebody who you think is kind of like quite immoral or they're distancing themselves away from you or they're pretty judgmental with you. Like, they really believe in a certain things and they don't see things in a black and white position or you just feel like their moral value does not sit really well with you and, with, and you feel like this person is withholding a lot of their emotions so you feel the need to 
um, isolate yourself a little bit from that person in order for you to gain your emotional stability back comes person a who is the knight of chalices somebody who makes effort into trying to impress you somebody who is very good with their words somebody who um I don't know, like the nine of chalices is somebody who is trying hard to impress you. Like they would dress in a certain type of way. They would try to touch you. Like the nine of chalices is pretty touchy. You know, they know exactly how to touch you and they know. But the thing is that this person got into their feels. And, you know, when you're not interested with somebody, I don't know about you, but for me, like when I'm not interested in somebody, like it's easier for me to be doing stuff for them. But when I'm interested with somebody, it's like... <coughs> I don't do or I'm not as aggressive as if I'm not interested in you. You know what I mean? So that person is also similar to that. So at first they're trying to charm you. At first they do this and you were happy with it because you're the three chalices. You feel like, oh my God, after a hurricane comes a rainbow, you're so nice and da, 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 da. And you feel the friendship aspect of the relationship is really great as well with this person. So you feel like you can relate to this person and so on and so forth. And now though, this person is much more of a hangman. So they're much more passive. And one of the reasons why they feel this way is because... They feel like they've done their part and they feel like you are not um, reciprocating, if that makes sense. And so they feel like the ball is actually in your court. If for some reason you guys are the Eight of Cups, so you feel like this person is leaving you. You feel like this person is distancing themselves away from you, where in reality, this person is actually waiting for you to reciprocate, is waiting for you to actually make a move because they feel like they've done their part in the past, if that makes sense. The person that you're dealing with, person B, you know, that high priestess and reverse person, and then now they're like the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, wow, all these three confirmation. Okay, yes, okay, so, um, person B is either in the now or in the future. I think this person is going to come back, but not in a masculine way, not in a this really might get caught off because. I'm nearing the maximum storage. But uh, this person won't do a masculine type of approach. But it's just like they're there. Make sense? Like they want peace. They just want to talk. Like, hi, how are you? Or if you guys are working in a working scene, like they might want to sit next to you more often and stuff like that. With this person, you guys are the ace of swords. You don't share your thoughts. You don't even share how they that person makes you feel in the past like you have that ace of swords in reverse like you're keeping it to yourself and then in the future this person would say like look can we just have peace like can we do something blah, 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 blah. and that's when you guys lose it that's when you guys just snap and you would have the strongest impulse ever to snap to this person where in fact this person actually in the future one nothing but peace with you. <laughs> but anyway, that's person B. Person A, the person that you feel that they're distancing themselves away from you, where in reality this person is actually waiting for you to make a move because they feel like they've done their part. In the future, this person is going to be the princess of chalices. So this person is still in that phase of the, where they're still highly idolizing you. Like, oh my God, Aquarius, you're the greatest person on earth. This is really going to get cut off. But you feel like you're not ready for that, you know, because you have the two of pentacles because you have, you still have so much residue of energy from person B, so much anger and so much focus with person B that you're going to be keeping person A on a pedestal, okay? So there's no decision that has been made or that is going to be made even in the future in regards to person A because, I mean, you just are not ready and you cannot really force feelings, all right? Turns out I don't think that I need to cut it. But anyway, that's it for my reading for you guys. 
Um, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next week for your another weekly reading, all right? Bye-bye. I love you.